This is the second in a series of videos describing a deployment of a Falmouth Scientific two-dimensional acoustic current meter uh, near the west end of the Cape Cod Canal. What we're going to do in this video is discuss the configuration in our ACM Pro software. The ACM Pro software is provided um, along with the purchase of the ACM and it allows you to configure, uh, deploy, and offload uh, data from the instrument. So we have it connected to the instrument now. We would go to configure, configure instrument. Uh, for this deployment, we want to, um, we're going to monitor just the uh, very basic configuration. Uh, we just want to see what the velocities are and the directions and the CTD data. So for this application, we were just going to, we we're going to click on north velocity, east velocity, and CTD. Um, these are the raw path velocities. We don't need to log those. Those are used in the calculations of the north and east velocities. Uh, we're not going to log battery voltage or sea temperature. We're going to get temperature from the CTD, actually, which is more accurate than the onboard sea temperature sensor. Um, this also has the ability to turn on external A to D channels from uh, external sensors, such as DO or turbidity or something like that, which we don't have installed on this instrument. Uh, path velocities are also used in this calculation, but we're not going to log them. This is where we would turn on the compass and tilt measurements. These are the raw measurements. These are used in calculation of the tilt and direction. So if we just turn these on, these get logged. Uh, these get used, but not logged. So we're going, to, we're going to turn those off. We're going to have tilt x, tilt y, and direction 0 to 360. We're going to use the compass and velocity calculation and use tilt also. We're not going to use any averaging. We're going to, uh, we're going to configure the instrument to, uh, let's, we'll click right over to uh, time. Every six minutes, we're going to have the instrument come on and measure for 30 seconds. Uh, and we want it to set up. We want to set it up for a delayed start. We are after the, after the fact here. We deployed it last week, but for uh, the sake of this demonstration, we can show how to set up a delayed start. It was set up to start on the 19th of August at 0800 in the morning. We set up the instrument the day before, so we were able to just go down, go out in the boat, and drop it in the water without having to connect it to a computer at all. Um, here it shows what the instrument time and date are, which is today's time and date, and you can synchronize that with your computer clock here. Uh, you can also select to record time in memory or not. We would like to do that so we can correlate the measurements uh, to specific times and dates. Uh, here in the memory screen you can see that comes up and says uh, the record length based on the measurements selected is 47 bytes long. Um, this is where you select log data to memory, which we we want to do. Um, you can also leave that unchecked and just stream data out through the RS-2324, or you can do both. The statistics screen allows you to, uh, it's basically a, an onboard calculator that calculates battery life and memory fill time based on your configuration. Uh, we said we were going to go and uh, delayed start, so it's going to start on the 19th. It's going to run for 102 days on the battery, um, and it's going to fill in a day and a half. The other screen that's available here is your options. This is where you would select output data uh, through the RS-232 port if you wanted to stream data up through a cable, which we didn't do for this application. Um, so for this, you would save the configuration, which I'm not going to do here, and then you would say run instrument and deploy. Uh, when you deploy it, it will it will erase it'll say erase I don't want to do that here I want to save this data but uh, basically when you deploy the instrument it comes up with a, de a deployment summary screen which you can print or save uh, for future reference in the next video we will discuss uh, a little bit more about the deployment and how we offloaded data and what the data looks like thank you